morning, my little terribles. So we had our first day, got some rest, had some coffee. We didn't really have breakfast because this place doesn't provide it. So what are we doing here? Not. Nah. Look at this. Look at this crowd everywhere. It's like people everywhere here. But they're just starting to open, so that's probably why. Got to go through our security now. There might be a couple roller coasters with our name on it. IQ. Kia. Let's go do it. So we just got into the park, and now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go vlog over here with uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, you want to get a nuts hat? Hey, check it that. <laughs> it's Charlie Brown. We love Charlie Brown here. So you got a uh, boysenberry waffle cone right over there. I did. And I'm sort of a little intimidated by this thing he's bringing over. He's got like an ice cream cookie. Thing's bigger than your head. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Go ahead, take a bite, Ian. So one of the things that Knott's is apparently well known for is their fried chicken. Mrs. Knott's personal recipe. Thank you over there is tearing it away. Got a couple wings and thighs over here. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, the biscuits are good. I don't normally like biscuits, but actually pretty good. And they have this country gravy as opposed to the brown stuff, so. So it's going pretty well. As you see, we're always hitting the food at uh, theme parks when we go, so we're going to eat this and then we're going to back to the park for more of a uh, Camp Snoopy with uh, IQ over here.
what's going on there, IQ? Well, we just, so just like, we just like headbutted everyone. There's a big line there. We skipped right to the front because we were two and everybody else had like more than two. So there we go. Whoa. Time for some hot air balloon and what do you think? Yeah. Whoa. Ian, get me off this ride. Yeah. We're on a stagecoach. We are. Oh, look at horses. And those are like real horses, too. Yeah. What kind of horses are these? They're uh, We're riding on a stagecoach, as you can see. And it's taking us all around the park. This was something recommended to us by a friend that's visited already. And what should oh, I see food cooking? Hold on. Sorry. I get distracted by beef. But, um... A friend recommended that you go on this ride. It was one of the first things so you could actually see what the whole park looks like and get a lay of the land. So, that's what we're doing. I don't even know we've been here all day. But it's pretty fun. I'm kind of liking this. Now, hook right arms and swing around. Now, hook left arms, feet on the ground. And a right hand clap. Left hand clap. Clap your knees. Now, clap your own hand. That's right, children. guys so we're getting ready to wrap up here as you see it's evening time here at at the berry farm right so the deal was is that the front desk told us they were gonna be closed at 10 o'clock and it's a little after 8 now but then everybody's leaving and they're shutting down rides and I was like what in the world apparently he said like kiss reserved and I'm assuming that's the radio either the radio or the band I don't know which one they have like a private thing from 9 to 1 so we're all getting booted out early apparently I don't think I like that I bought this thing, which is like unlimited drinks all day, and as you know, I love my Coke Zero. I was trying to like empty out one of their, their taps, but I couldn't. I'm not going to have enough time now. So we're going to go do our last minute shopping, we're going to get back to the hotel, we're going to wrap this thing up. See that right there? That is a boysen... I was talking to the vlog audience. <laughs> That's boysenberry turnover. And then way over here. That's what's left of a carrot cake. You know, I tried a couple of the boysenberry things, which is apparently what Knott's is known for. I guess they invented them. I didn't know you could invent berries, but cool. So, we've been trying some stuff with boysenberry, and it hasn't been like a lot. I'm not that super impressed with boysenberry. The ice cream was good. It was very lightly berry flavored. There wasn't much to it. They have his little shortbread cookies, which are actually really good. But the boysenberry turnovers, it's just the flavor is just not quite as pronounced as you'd expect it to be. Carrot cake's phenomenal. And uh, this hotel's a little weird because <laughs> the last couple times we've stayed, in this coffee over there, um, the last couple times we've stayed at hotels, like they have a fridge in the room, this one doesn't. They had a microwave in the room, this one doesn't. They had all around the clock complimentary coffee, this one doesn't. Very weird. And we figured, I don't know, that's, I guess we've gotten spoiled by lots of the hotels that offer that kind of stuff. But anyway, day one is in the can and we're going to get our sleep now tomorrow we're not sure if we're going to do the park or if we're going to hit a local beach we're still deciding where we're going to take tomorrow so 
With that said, we're going to wrap up our first night of the Quinterables at Knott's Berry Farm. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, the whole dealie, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.